Hey, what is up, everybody? It is No One Shot Car. I'm back at you with an Eve Echoes video. Today, we're going to talk about Combat Basics 3. How to kite enemies in a battle. Basically, how to lead them on and take a minimal amount of damage for tier 5s, tier 6s, and tier 7s, depending on your ship's level, or depending on your ship's tech level. And so, we're going to go across my basics of what I have right now, and then we're going to show the battle. Me actually showing the kite, and kites usually can take 40 minutes sometimes 50 depending on your ship if you have a better ship it could take less time we have a better strategy drop that below so i can check it out because i would love to see it so right now i am running the stabber trainer or cyber trainer the stabber fleet issue currently right now so i am running four republic medium strike cannons or five technically and i am running a medium shield i'm running uh, Marketeer's tracking computer. I'm running these for the optimal range bonus, the fall off bonus, and the tracking speed bonus when it's not even in combat, and the, or when it's not even activated. Then we have the damage when it's, we have the bonus when it's activated, which is awesome. And then I'm using a normal Mark V tracking computer. I'll tell you why in a quick moment. I got one drone on me, but usually enemies don't get that close to actually be able to hit them with the drone. But I have it there just in case. Reason I cannot run another uh, Marketeer tracking computer right now. Is I am short probably like eight more power give or take to be able to run that computer and I'm working that currently and the skills that you need to do that increases your um, your energy for your ship and stuff like that is under I believe it's under maintenance technology I could be wrong no it's not under defense upgrade let's make sure who's your defense yeah no where was it again electronics so it's under electronics engineering cruiser engineering you need to get your cruiser engineering two, four preferably, and then I'm trying to get my next one, the cruiser engineering or advanced cruiser engineering up to get my power grid up another five percent, which should be right there, and I would have enough for that. That's what I'm working on currently. I know having two tracking computers are kind of pointless in a sense, but there's a penalty for running them. But I'll take that small penalty so I can get that distance in these uh, these encounters. But they're worth it. Um, before any of that. We have what? 19 jumps. So before any of that, let me look at my item inventory. We're gonna go down to my personal assets. The ship that I was running before was the Stabber and the Stabber Trainer. The Stabber Trainer, I was able to do tier sixes without an issue whatsoever. And with the Stabber Trainer, I was running, so we have the Trainer right, right there, and then I had the Stabber, the normal full-blown Stabber, but I gave that to do since he needed it, since his went blew yesterday. So I gave that to him, but I was running five, let's see if I can find them, five medium mark five strike cannons. I was running, or four technically, because that's all the slots it has, four medium strike cannons. And then you want to run two mark five track computers and a battery just in case and a medium shield if you can, because that medium shield will keep up just in case you get those hits. You can just, it's every so often they really hit you. It's really rare when they get that close to you. When you're going to these battles, you generally on a stabber and a stabber trainer and a stabber fleet you want to see your orbit to 40 would be nice even though the optimal range on the guns if we look at the guns right now on the ship currently they will say accuracy falls is 29.82 and optimal range is 25.15 which the heat of battle yeah i could be right up there rear ends and blasting them at that point but I'd rather stay at a distance. I'll strike between two, five, one thousand, sometimes seventeen hundred to two thousand damage, depending on when I pop my tracking computers. And I'll show you my strategy with the tracking computers. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, or critiques, put them down below. And while we wait for the warp, I'm gonna pause this video and I'll be right back. Oh, actually, before the be right back part, this is the machine I'm currently running. So I'll be able to run tier sevens on my own uh, encounters, not. Uh, story missions, story missions, you need a team, or at least whatever one that uh, the other guys were showing off that you could lead it on with another account and then use your other one to do the damage. But the one I'm running right now is this one currently. It's a tier six, as you see, tier six cruiser, tier six cruiser destroyer, and it's for 7,000 lat or 7,000 uh, isk. And I've done 15 or 1.5 million isk ones before, and that's not an issue. So that's the one I'm currently running right now because I want to get the story missions because the story missions are awesome because they pay out lucratively as long as you can run them in a fleet and you can relatively stay a distance away would be working out. And there's a trick we found for uh, frigates if they want to be in the battle of those ones. Uh, they would put their ship in a station 
or stay outside the um, the system while your team jumps in. Your team jumps in and gets their distance. They do their 40, whatever their distance they want to be at. And then you drop a look at here beacon and in story mission, since it puts you right in the hot mess of things instead of where your team is, you click that, you send your, you get your frigate there and it'll be in the heart of battle and you'll be able to hit the, the little baby ebony or little baby small cruiser or small uh, fighter or frigates or frigates yeah frigates and you're able to take them down pretty quickly as one and then you're able to zoom around get what you can and most of the time you won't catch our aggro and when you do you just warp out to the back and come back and you want to have aggro again and you can be a pest to them again all right while we wait i'll be right back all right and we are back we are one jump away from it thank god for these long jumps which take about a minute a piece so it took me about 22 minutes to get here but we're here so right now you want to see on your overview map on your left side you want to be able to pull that up and get that ready for when you enter the system for doing these big ones you don't want to jump hit that okay button as soon as it comes up you don't want to hit that and i'll tell you exactly why you don't want to hit it because you want to distance tank you want to distance it you want to kite these guys out you don't want to be right in the middle of battle getting pinned down never want that never want that to happen you want to be able to come in at 40 45 uh, kilometers out and be able to hit these guys as you see as i come through this gate it's going to show me come in it's going to ask me if i want to go as you see at the bottom left it's going to say do you want to go and i'm going to be like nope and i'm just going to click on the mission and i'm going to warp to i'm going to set a 46 out and then i'm going to open my loot table up even though you should technically open up your ship one and as you enter you'll be able to see i'll show you right now when it pops up uh, what to expect to see what enemies you have see what their distances are just in case these don't tell you the right ones when it shows you up top sometimes it doesn't show you the right ones which totally just sucks and that's unfortunate and i wish we could get more on the screen but you need more advanced ones see as you see here there's four here and we can see four enemies and i'm showing up about 39 37 out 35 so not bad i'm gonna focus target on the uh navitas which my ship will automatically start attacking and as soon as I make it in, as you see, I landed a 973 hit right off the bat. As you see, it's coming at the bottom. I set my distance to 40K. So my ship's automatically at orbit at 40K. I know some of you guys don't like the auto orbit. I have it preset because it helps me out greatly. I'm going to switch my target to the smuggler. As you see, I'm turning on my second tracking computer so I can make another distance hit from wherever he is in the map. So he's back there. The hardest one for me, like the thoraxes, any of the cruisers, give me a little bit of hard time. And then we should make another hit in a second from this distance out as a lower level. If you're using like a, a stabber trainer or stabber, you're going to have a little bit more of a longer time doing these missions because you're not putting that extra little DPS out. Make sure you get your research into your uh, uh, medium cannons, medium cannon uh, adva or advanced medium cannons. Make sure you get those into it. Make sure those track computers are going. Those track computers will help you greatly for just dragging them out there so you don't have to sit in the heat of battle see it wants me to go after the thorax and the thorax is a pain in the butt to take down because it has so much armor like i could bring myself into it i could bring myself in because i know i can be comfortable with him at 36 so right now we're at 36 let's go to 35 because that's where i can probably melt him correctly if i come in any closer i'm gonna get a little more damage done to me i could probably bring myself 25 in and still be relatively fine because I can just pop my shield, pop my battery and let it keep going so I can push out this damage. As you see, I am going either one on the track computer. I'm not doing both of them because it's kind of pointless to do both of them. There he goes at 1600 with that one hit. And then we're gonna come up on our next one. We're popping my next track computer. And from this next hit, we should get another pretty decent hit from there, another 1400. See, as I'm sitting there 35 out, I'm gonna take my approach down so I can come in a little bit closer let's go down to 25 where technically my optimal range will be usually you want to drag these out drag these guys out for longer distances because you don't want when they all spawn to spawn on top of you then you got to warp out instantly and go to another system or go back to the station or another system so you don't have to worry about it which sometimes happens I haven't had it happen yet only time I've been having issues is when range story missions story missions are always gonna be those pain in the butts those story missions are gonna always try you basically because they're gonna have those elites that have those micro warp drives and they'll zoom across the map in a heartbeat, which is scary. How fast it can zoom one way, zoom the other way, 
and it's just they're right on top of you and they're right gone afterwards. I feel like some of the devs take over these accounts and or these NPCs and just mess with you intentionally. Just a thought, probably don't. So you get another 960. And as I'm gonna pull in closer, I'm pulling, I put my orbit computer, I put to 25. Let's go into 25. And come in, I'm turning into 25 so I can get a little bit closer so I can get my optimal hit. And I'm turning my next tracking computer on to see what my next hit in. This is I think a two or three wave one. I don't remember, it's been a quick minute since I've done this one. And we're gonna make my next hit since we're coming in closer. My damage is gonna get that much greater because the target's gonna be that much easier. There's a 1300 right there. And let's see what the next one's gonna be without the tracking computers activated. And these are good for bounties, these are good for encounters. I know you could be running, you could be riding this whole time and making more isk, but these are for the story missions, which is the story missions pay out pretty heavily, which you're nice, but you always need a group to do them. Hopefully if you fleet up with somebody, you're willing to help them out and say, hey, you get the loot, just let me keep the elite stuff. You can have the rest, I'm chill with that. Or contract them out some money if they did the, help you do the work. Let's say you're doing a I don't know, 25 mil mission, pay them 20 mil. See, as, I, as you see here, I am quite a ways out. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start it. And yeah, this is how the mission's done. I'm able to finish this quite easily from this distance. As you see before, I was, I'm just rotating through on my tracking computers to get it done. I don't wanna use both of them at the same time because there might be a penalty to it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm doing. All right, guys, it is no one shall sign up. Remember to like the subscribe button, the bell notification down below. Remember to become a member, click on that button. It's either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month to help the channel out. If you have an ad blocker, become a member, help me out. You'll be featured in the intro or the, the credits of the video. And if you want to donate, it is down below. As you see, my August goal is up there is for a grand. I just put it up there for the giggles and not to show my system. And if you want to join my Discord, come join my Discord. I have an Eve-specific section in there for Eve-specific videos and Eve-specific chat. If you want to come chat with me, I am there. And remember to be happy, enjoy your gameplay, and have fun with Eve Echoes because this is an awesome game. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.